If you're a last-minute gift shopper, then Instacart is your holiday rescue app this season. No more tracking packages, no more trips to the post office, and no more Christmas gifts arriving in February. Instead, you can just download Instacart to order gifts like beauty, tech, and gourmet goods from local stores and get them delivered in as fast as one hour. Plus, right now, you'll get free delivery on your first three orders. This offer is valid for a limited time. $10 minimum per order. Additional terms apply. Must be 21 plus to purchase alcohol where available. Let's face it, most people aren't making massive turkey feasts on the regular, and after 364 days of not thinking about it, it can be hard to get that bird just right. That's where Instacart, the holiday rescue app, comes in. From getting all the ingredients to prep a full seasonal spread to getting last-minute swamps in a turkey emergency, Instacart has everything a holiday host needs to save face and save dinner. And right now, if you download Instacart, you get free delivery on your first three orders and delivery in as fast as one hour. Offer valid for a limited time. $10 minimum per order. Additional terms apply. The greatest story ever told. Tonight we present No Room at the Inn, the fourth of our Christmas season dramas about the birth of that child who was to live the greatest life ever lived. And now it seems that all of the Holy Land is on the move. From any hillside, one may look down and see the roads clogged with families sent journeying back to their places of origin. And all because word had come from Rome, from Caesar Augustus himself, let all the world be counted for the tax. The stream of travel-worn people and animals moves slowly through the cloud of dust that hovers over everything. One man says, go and be counted, and we all move. Is it fair, Joseph? Is it... Joseph, I spoke to... Oh, forgive me. Does she feel the journey, Joseph? Shall we stop for some water, Mary? Ah, it's good to see you smile. We'll rest here, Abraham, but we don't want to hold you up. I won't mind waiting, Joseph. And the reason may strike you strange. Look at them as they go by. No man alone. All of them in groups. Man, his wife, and the children. Only one travels alone on this road. Me, Abraham. I, I never felt so lonely before. Uh, may I stay with you and your wife? Of course, Abraham. I didn't want to hold you back, that's all. And with my wife as she is, we must travel slowly. Well, then I'll travel slowly, too. Uh, let me stay with you. Of course. Then we'll move to the side of the road. This way. Now the water skin. Uh, here. Drink, my dear. Drink and the heat won't seem so heavy on you. <laughs> Hardly enough to fill a sparrow, Joseph. You sure she's not too ill to go on? I've never seen anyone who bears fatigue so lightly. We'll go on. Come, we'll take our places in the line. Uh, look at them. And all because one man said, go and be counted. This world of ours has become an evil place, Joseph. It's not right that one man should hold so much power. Not right. Who would ever believe that once proud Israel would march again like slaves at the bidding of one man and a Roman at that? Where is the Messiah who was promised? Where is he who would help us throw off the shackles of the invader? Where? I'm afraid God has deserted us. No, Abraham. He hasn't deserted us. Hasn't he? Give me some sign. What can you say to prove he hasn't? We must believe, Abraham. Believe? With all of this I see, you want me to believe? Look at them. Women, the children, tired and weary. They move like an army of shadows going back to where they came from and not knowing why. Except that one man said, go and be counted for taxes at the place where your father was born. Yes, God has deserted us, Joseph. All right, what's it? 
Make way here. Make way. Off the road. Make way for nobility. Make way. Look at him ride by so proud. He's no more free than any of us, but still he's proud. One of our own people. There's no doubt he sits at the right hand of some Roman official. Go, traitor. Go and show the Romans how obedient you are. Ah! Uh, see that? That poor woman, her donkey's been pushed off the road. The traitor did it. Come, we must help. Quickly, Abraham. Oh, my good woman. Let me help you. Thank you. Not, not me. The child. The child. Of course. Come, child, let me help you. Ah, there now. No need to cry. The child cry? Not a tear in her eye. Not a single trace of wetness in the dust that covers her face. She's too frightened to cry. That's why. Why shouldn't she be? Going back to be counted where her father was born and no father to go with her. Dead. Dead. I'm so sorry. Why didn't they leave us alone? Why must I go back to relive the memories of him when I've just begun to forget? Why? Please, woman, let me give you a drink. A, a water skin, Abraham. Yes, Joseph. First the child, please. Surely. Yeah, my dear. No, you can't lift it yourself. Let me help you. Ah, uh, now hold it this way. Now, go on, drink. No. Miriam, wait. What is it? I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. What do you mean, woman? We couldn't take any of your water. Your wife, all you have, she'll need. Oh, must a woman so close to giving birth be forced to make such a long, hard journey? When the Romans order, everyone obeys. Please, woman, drink. There'll be enough. We're going only as far as Bethlehem. It's a long way with the roads choked as they are. No, please, no. <laughs> We mustn't take what others need more, my dear. And this woman, she needs the water for her child. Child? But she has no child. Her arms are empty. Even with empty arms, she has a child. Come, Miriam. We must be on our way. Sister? Yes? For my sake? Drink and give your child to drink. If you say it, we will. Joseph. Yes, Mary, yes. Come, Miriam, drink, but not too much. All you want, my child, all you want. Thank you, sir. I've had enough. Now, you, woman. Thank you, sir. And you, sister. Thank you. May the child you have be kind and tender as you are. May it bring glory to you and to our people. Best of all, may it be a man-child. Tears? What have I said to bring tears to your eyes? Have I said something wrong? No, it's her heart that's full. And the overflow is tears. We thank you for your kind words. The child is hers. All else will come true. And I place a kiss upon your cheek, my dear. To be given to the child for me one day. Now, Miriam, come. Wait, woman. Uh, I'm alone on the road, too. And if you're going on, you might need the help and protection a man can give you. I, I could go with you. And leave your friends? They won't mind my leaving because I can serve you better. Isn't that so, Joseph? It would be a great act of kindness, Abraham. And though we'll miss you, I think it would be better if you go with her. Peace be with you, friend, in your travel. And with you, Joseph. And your sweet wife. And one day when you tell the child of this journey, I would like for you to mention my name. A little favor to a friend, eh? Who knows? Perhaps he'll live to see deliverance come to Israel. With all my heart, I hope. Dear Mary, I hope so. Farewell, friend. Come, woman. Come, Miriam. Farewell, Joseph. Farewell, Mary. God's blessing go with you. And now, my dear, we go on alone in our secret. I pray I'm worthy to carry this great burden care for you as it has been entrusted for me to do. We must reach Bethlehem safely and in time. Come. 
Come, Rebecca, away from the door before more of these travelers try to come in. There's no room. How can they? But they'll want to. Whoever thought that so many people would come back here to Bethlehem? Some of them left as children. Now they come back with children of their own, even grandchildren. And every one of them wanting to stop at our inn. Why don't they go to one of the others? Uh, it'll be good to get this leather apron off and get to bed. I'm tired. Tired. Come away from the door. I want to bolt it. A little while. A little while? Why? I... I don't know. Calm. Don't be a fool. I want to lock up. Ezra. Yes? Do the stars seem different to you tonight? Don't tell me they made the stars go back to be counted, too. <laughs> What's the matter with you tonight, Rebecca? Why are you so strange? Strange? Am I strange tonight, Ezra? I don't know what's come over you. You only stand there and stare at the star. When I make a joke, you don't laugh. What's wrong? Nothing wrong, but different. Can't you feel it? I only feel tired. I've never worked harder in my life, and I want my sleep. Something in the air tonight. Strange feeling. A feeling of something very unusual that is about to come. You're overtired. Sleep will do you good. No, I want to look at the stars. Rebecca, I said go to bed. By dawn, these guests of ours will be hungry as wolves and we'll have to feed them. Come, we must catch what little sleep we can. Tomorrow night or the night after, you can look at the stars. They won't look the same. What do you mean, they won't look the same? Oh. Well, what are you crying about? Well, what did I say? Oh, you women. Come, I'll lock up before anyone else tries to get in here. Stand away from the door. Oh, no. <laughs> the way a woman can make her husband out to be a villain without any cause, I, I don't understand it. After all, is it so unreasonable to... There. You see? Just what I wanted to avoid. Now we'll have to stand here and argue half the night with them before they're convinced that there's no room here. Don't be too harsh with them. Can I give them what I don't have? Shall I give up my own bed? Don't be too hard. Peace to you, friend innkeeper. <laughs> peace. There'll be no peace until all you people have gone back where you came from. I'm sorry we've been trouble to you. You don't have to apologize because you'll be no trouble to me. We need room, sir. There is no room. Not for myself, but for my wife, Mary. A, a bed to rest in. Please, we've been to all the other inns. There is no bed here. Ezra, please. A woman. You can't turn away a woman. Well, where shall I put her? Is there a bed? Why do you make it seem that I have a room and won't give it? Now, I'm sorry, man. You'll have to be on your way. If it were not for unusual circumstances, I wouldn't ask again. But, but please, can't you see your way to making some room for us? You and your stargazing. I told you, Rebecca, there'd be nothing but trouble. Come inside. But Ezra... Please. Inside! And now, sir, it'll do no good to stay around here. I'm locking up. Wait, friend. Please... My, my wife needs a bed, a place to rest. It will only be hours before she gives birth to a child. Eh? What did you say? Or is it some trick to get a place here? Rebecca, bring a lamp. Yes, sir. Better not be playing tricks, man. Would one say such a thing if it weren't true? And please hurry, there's so little time. Wait till my wife gets back. The lamp, Ezra. Hold it up by the woman. Ezra. The girl... Oh, Ezra, we must do everything we can for her. Now, don't worry, my dear. Please, Rebecca, don't promise there's nothing we can do. There's our bed. I don't yield my bed, not even to a king. And to take such a woman to the common room, the others would be disturbed. Now, there's nothing we can do. Any place at all, innkeeper, where we won't be in the open, where the chill of the night air won't be on us. There is no place. There is, Ezra. What's the matter with you, Rebecca? The stable is warm. Stable... You'd uh, consider staying the night in the stable? Anywhere. We could find shelter. I hadn't thought of that. Stable. <laughs> of course, you'll pay for lodging, well, we'll huh? We'll pay. We'll pay. Only, only let my wife rest. She's tired and the time comes close. All right, then. You may use the stable. You can make a bed of straw there in the manger. The girl shall lie on fresh linen. Linen for strangers? Yes, she shall lie on linen. Fresh and clean and soft. Come, my dear. I'll see your maid comfortable. Rebecca! I don't know what's come over her. 
first the stars, then this. What's wrong with her this night? Did anything be wrong to make one provide room for a stranger? This night, I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Ah. Uh, this night. This night. What of this night, Jonathan? Hmm? <laughs> you heard me, Daniel. I thought I spoke quietly. A shepherd becomes so hungry for any sound other than the buying of sheep that he hears everything. Is there something troubling you, Jonathan? On this night? Look at the heavens, Daniel. Such blue should be silken velvet, gracing the fairest woman who ever lived. Perhaps it does. Hmm? What do you mean by that? I, I don't know. The words seem to come out of my mouth even before I thought them. Uh, too much being along the hills with only the sheep to talk to. Maybe it's what you said before that you didn't intend for me to hear. This night. There's something strange about this night. Is there? Look up at the heavens. This night is like any other. The stars, each in its place. The sky, the blue of the season. The sheep here, content and drop. Daniel. Yes, John. The sky. It's not the same. A new star. A new light. There, now. A new... <gasps> Jonathan. Such light as I have never seen before. Daniel. Daniel. Fear not. I heard it, Daniel. I heard it. Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Savior. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Daniel, the heavens, the heavens have opened. Manger. He said manger. You heard it too, Savior. Manger. The city of David. No. No, it couldn't have been. The sheep haven't moved. They heard no strange voice. Daniel, such a voice is not given to sheep to hear. But how can we be sure? From the heavens it came in a voice few men have ever heard before. Would the word of God come to us? To shepherds who tend to flock in the hills of Bethlehem? Who are we but poor, simple men? Bethlehem. The city of David. Didn't we hear him say the child is born in the city of David? We must go and see. We must find him. Find him? Where? Shall we go through the city crying out, Is a babe born here? How many babes are born this night in Bethlehem? We need only know which one lies in a manger. Come, Daniel, come. We must find that one. So late at night. We must find him. Who knocks this time of night? We seek a child, newborn and lying in a manger. A child here, lying in a manger? You're deaf. On your way and leave decent people alone. John. 
Jonathan, back to the hills. This is madness. The child, we must find it. There's no room at the inn. There's been no room since early this morning. We don't come seeking room, innkeeper. Only a child, newborn. No child here and no room. Be on your way. No child? No child newborn and lying in a manger? Who are you? Shepherds come out of the hills. What? Well, what do you know of a child that lies in a manger? Only what we were told. Is it... Is it here? Where? Where, man? Strange. Fearfully strange. Away from here. Away, do you hear? But the child! Is it here? Go round to the side to the stable. But don't come in here. Go! This time, Daniel. This time. Shh. You knock, friend. Sir. A babe. Newborn. It's here. By the grace of God. Daniel. Did you hear the words the man spoke? I've heard. And, sir. Does it lie in a manger? He does. Then. Then we must see him. We must. Please, let us in. We have little here, but you're welcome. Come, Daniel, come. We must see the child, but quietly. The blue should be silken velvet, gracing the fairest woman who ever lived. It's what I said before. She is the woman, Jonathan. Daniel, this is he. Only shepherds. Yet we are the first to see the child. The Savior. What word did you speak, friend? Savior. Savior. It came to us in the voice from heaven, out there on the hillside in the dead of night. This is he, the Savior, born in the city of David, lying in a manger. Voice? All this the voice told you? All this and more. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Mary. Mary, did you hear? Good lady. I've said nothing to make you weep. Some tears are good to weep, friend. So much has happened this night. So much. We must go and tell them all. All. Come, Jonathan. Come. Wait. First, we must kneel and adore. The child. Look at him. Was there ever such a child as this? We shall pray. Now we go, friend. We go to tell everyone of the great thing which has happened. Peace be to you both. And to the child for all his life. Mary. Mary, did you hear? They knew. Now everyone will know. And the words, Mary. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace. Goodwill toward men. With 
Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchases, over by law, 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.